My name is Ayo Otubanjo. I am the CEO of Vinci Hair Clinic, I'm responsible for the Africa region, uh, but I'm also a partner in the Vinci International Group, which is a global medical group. Vinci Hair Clinic is uh, a global uh, leading uh, hair restoration uh, clinic. Uh, so basically what we do, what we specialize in is the restoration of hair. So if people are going bald, uh, we help them to recover the hair. This has been around uh, nearly 20 years. Um, we're primarily based in the UK. Um, we have uh, about 28 clinics in about uh, 14 countries um, and uh, the Nigerian operation was set up uh, about five years ago and uh, the Lagos clinic what, which is our flagship clinic was set up then but since then we've had uh, we've opened new clinics in uh, Abuja and another one recently in Accra in Ghana I always go back to a global CEO who started going bald at a very early age and was uh, traumatic, you know, traumatized, shall I say, uh, about the experience. And um, he was looking for all manners of solutions to his baldness and, you know, decided that I needed to uh, do something uh, for other people. Uh, who are facing similar situations. So I guess the inspiration came from him, you know, being uh, a young man, lo losing his hair at a very early age. Africans, like every other uh, race of people on the, in, in, on the earth, uh, so, suffer from hair loss. The, 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 the problem is, up till the point we came to Nigeria, there has been no solution. Uh, that could be offered to anybody. Uh, so most people who go bald just shrug their shoulders and say, well, it's a fact of life. They get used to it, they go on with it and try and make the most of their lives as best as they can. But it doesn't have to be like that. It doesn't have to be like that. Everywhere in Europe, in the US, in the Middle East, people are doing something about their baldness because now that we're in the age of Instagram, where image and your, your 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 photograph and your looks you know it's all the rage um you know you, you've got to look you know for a solution to any hair loss issues you're having so you know we're here to provide a service and people are very pleased that we're here hair loss uh, they, I mean, our alopecia which is the technical terms there's so many different types of alopecia without going into the details of each one of them the ones that we come across uh, frequently in the Nigerian and the Ghanaian clinics uh, what we call traction alopecia which is the loss of hair and it usually affects women by the way so that's the loss of hair in the in the fringe uh, it's usually caused by a lot of things they do at the salon when they go to the salon tight braiding using glues to fix hair and stuff like that the other type of alopecia we, we see regularly uh, is um, androgenetic alopecia, which is the typical pattern baldness. Now that affects men and women as well. So I would, you know, I think research has shown that maybe up to about 60% of men uh, would suffer from that particular type of hair loss at some stage in their lives. And I think about 40% as well of women would have or would experience a similar loss of hair uh, by the time they get to menopause. So, you know, those are the two primary types of alopecia we see. We see other types, but they're not very frequent, you know. Attraction alopecia can certainly be avoided. Um, it's all about educating people, you know, about things they should avoid doing when they go to the salon. So, for instance, you know, I always say to people, why do you have to have such tight braiding, you know, the, to the extent that you start getting a headache? you know, after the session, um, because it damages your follicles and then those are the roots of your hair. Um, why do you, have, you know, get someone to put a glue which you have no provenance uh, or there's no provenance of, you know, to apply it on your scalp, you know, just to fix a nice looking hair piece. And six months later, you know, you develop uh, a serious reaction to it and you start losing your hair. I mean, the sensible things about not just allowing any salon worker to apply stuff on your scalp without looking at the product 
they're using and seeing whether that product has been certified for use on the human body on the human body certified by the likes of NAVDAC in Nigeria or maybe if it's made in the US by the FDA very simple precautions can be taken with regards to androgenetic alopecia which is the pattern baldness I mean similarly once you start noticing that your hair fibers start thinning or getting soft like baby's hair usually in this part of the scalp now that is a, that's a sign that you're about to start losing your you know your hair and if you come in to us at that stage we can actually stop it so you know the myth about you can't prevent baldness is is totally false it's a myth exactly that well there's a wide array of treatment options um, so it's all dependent on the particular type of alopecia uh, when you come into us and how much uh, 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 hair loss you've experienced so we have stuff like uh, medication you know which is usually very effective especially when somebody is just starting you know to lose their hair they haven't actually lost it they're just starting the process so medication can be a very useful and very effective tool and then you move along the spectrum you have some therapies that we deploy in the clinic such as mesotherapy which is injecting pharmaceutical uh, drugs directly into the scalp and we also have it uh, a therapy called platelet rich plasma therapy which is a means of you know using the cells to repair using your blood or the byproduct of your blood to repair the cells damaged cells and then you've got uh, cosmetic procedures such as microscopic pigmentation which is usually very effective uh, for the camouflage of baldness especially men that have already gone bald and at the very end of the spectrum you have the hair transplant which is uh, the hallmark of, uh, of hair restoration because it's a guaranteed form of hair restoration. So we do all that in, in our clinic in, uh, in Lagos. Well, I mean, hair transplant is uh, perhaps the, the the current rage you know in the sense that that's what most people uh, opt for when it comes to hair restoration but there's some there's the latest development is uh, stem cell therapy which uh, is still very much in the experimental stage and we feel that that will revolutionize uh, hair restoration because currently the more extensive your baldness the less likely you are to be a good candidate for a transplant all because you know we need to get the donor follicles from yourself so the more donor follicles we need you know to implant the more we have to get from yourself so the equation doesn't work so there's some people who are so extensively bald that uh, a transplant currently would not be uh, uh, would not be a good uh, option for them what stem cell therapy does it totally changes the equation so it doesn't matter even if you're totally bald just one tiny little cell, maybe hair, can be can be extracted using a uh, um, a punch biopsy, and then that is then replicated several times to produce thousands of follicles. So you know the the idea of you know oh I'm so bald I can't have a transplant would no longer be uh, a problem. But like I said, it's still very much in the experimental stage. Uh, only the Italians and the Americans are really spending money to do the research and uh, hopefully you know they'll get, to a, get us to a point where it will become freely available to everybody. The vast majority of the uh, stuff we need are actually brought in uh, from the UK or from the US. We still encourage people to come in, you know, we, we've been trying as much as possible to see how we can offer discounts uh, to, to people and we're also encouraging people to pay instrumentally so if somebody's looking to have a procedure perhaps uh, in three six months time they could start making small payments towards that over that period so by the time it comes to when they want to have the procedure they would have effectively paid uh, for that for that procedure mm -hmm.